Right. right. Oh, no, no, you go for it. You go, oh, you for, go it. first. All right, all right, you go for it. You go for it, mate. Well, it's a great game of football. There's no two ways about that. That's what Champions League nights are all about. Um, in terms of quality, fantastic game, absolutely fantastic game. And I suppose the most sad thing really is the fact that we were 2 0 up and we've let the 2 0 lead slip. Having said that, I thought that when we went 1 0 up, great goal by the way, David Luiz, um, mm -hmm. fantastic strike. I would agree with that one. They had a spell for about 15 minutes where they had three opportunities in the space of about six, seven minutes, and the danger signs were there. Yeah. And then, of course, we get the, the second goal kind of against the run of play, at the, you know. Morata to hazard. Morata to hazard, yeah. and he took it well, let's be fair. Yeah. And uh, and then, of course, they, they, they went and scored straight away up the other end to make Call it 2 1. Yeah. Great goal, by the way. Proper Man City tonight, wouldn't we, you know, if you think about it. Um, but then, of course, uh, second half, and uh, we've got Zeko, and what, um, two fantastic strikes, absolutely brilliant. brilliant we have strike. to mention, obviously, David Luiz's goal off had an impact on that situation. It did. Mate, what the it hell did. was that? It did. So I suppose when you're 3 2 down, and uh, we showed a lot of character to, to 3 3, so it's not a bad point. Um, and I no. suppose the only sad thing at 2 0, you would have thought we can go to Rome now, rest a load of players. Uh, yeah. Because Man United is coming on um, November the 5th, you know, a few days later, mm. and it would have been a perfect opportunity to do so. So I imagine Jose Mourinho must be loving that um, yeah. that factor. And yeah. we've got to go to Rome now and possibly get going out a, a draw or whatever. Yeah. But of course, the other result has gone our way as well. Atletico have. So it's been a crazy night, really. A crazy night in a fantastic game of football. Yeah. And a privilege to actually, you know, be here. But. Um, I thought, uh, I thought Roman were good for their points, to be fair. But they were, they were. Like, I think I'm not going to take that away from them. I, I, there was a few surprises. I think uh, Strootman, Al Sharawi, players that I thought were injured and weren't going to make it to the game, suddenly could make it to the game. That was a surprise. And then you have uh, situations that just led to unfortunate goals. I feel like defensively, we've been thrown up again. It's, uh, it's defensively, we need to find a fucking solution as soon as possible at some point because it's disgusting and it's bad how we can concede three goals at Stamford Bridge and we can try so hard in so many games and still end up conceding goals. Uh, we've, let, we've let three in against Burnley, we've now let three in against uh, Rome and Rome is obviously a better side than Burnley, let's be frankly honest about that. Oh, I know, they, they, they were good today mate, yeah, they, they, good they were on it, they were on it. They they're, they're number four, yeah. um, the Belgian, like well yeah. the one that we were after apparently in the summer. Yeah. Wow, what a He's player. a freaking machine, mate. It, I'm everything you, goes through him. That's the reason why Conte wanted him as well. Great player. And I think defensively... Should have broke the bank for him. You know this formation that with, uh, Con and Tony Conte went with, right? I thought defensively it was going to be giving us a solid performance tonight. We still managed to concede three goals. To me, that's a bit of an alarm to the situation because he's still finding a balance. And it's, to me, it's starting to show either the personal in uh, right or the formation in uh, right. One of the two needs to be fixed as soon as possible because if we want to put any sort of fight in this uh, this season, that these are solutions we need to find ASAP. And the sooner that we do it, the better. Watford will be another game that we can test ourselves against, and I wonder what he'll go with. Pedro coming on today, you saw what the difference he made for us yet again. I can't understand why he's not starting. No, Pedro. absolutely, I'll, I'll I really can't. Mate. Pedro is a flipping machine. He's an engine. Why did Luis missing. come off? Injury? Was that an injury? I don't know. I feel like that's Someone potentially in the case. Yeah, that's potentially the case. I'm hoping not because. Let's be frankly honest, we don't need any more injuries as it is. Right. And and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I think Danny Drinkwater, the sooner we can get him, the better, because we need some <laughs> sort of defensive-minded def uh, centre midfielder, because and these two players, Bakayoko and Fabregas, they're too attacking-minded. And they left us exposed a few times in so many games now. I'm starting to see the picture with them too. And until they can get that discipline right, we need defensive players. And I can now see where Drinkwater can be quite useful. We can't rush him back, and Golo Kante is still injured, so I don't know what's going to be the solution to this uh, letting goals in, because we're letting too many goals, mate. Having said that, it's a 3-3 free -free result here at Stamford Bridge, which means we're still top of the group. As I say, yep. the other game went really our way. Um, Atletico failing to, to beat um, Carabag. Yeah. And, um, okay, you know, and you fancy it. us over there to get three points. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it, it, all in all, we're, we're in a great position, obviously, as far as qualifications are concerned. It's just a case, it's just, uh, like I say, when you tune it up, you kind of want to see it out. Yeah. Having said that, at the end of 90 minutes, I was glad we nicked a point. So, a cracking game of football, it's just a shame. Well done to Hazard, actually. Two goals. 
two goals. Yep, two Absolute goals. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And um, we move on to the next game, obviously, Stamford Bridge, Watford, this Saturday. We're coming for you, Watford. Coming for you, Hornets. Thank you for watching this video guys, like I said, and we are always going to be trying to do these types of videos for you guys. If you liked this video and you enjoyed it, please make sure that you leave a like on this video. So please click on that thumbs up button. And if you could also do us a favor, we are on all social media as well. Those will be in the description below. Please go actually follow us or like them. And it just enables us to be able to interact with you guys as the fans as well. And, and it'd be great also if you could just comment below. What do you think the scoreline is going to be? What do you expect their lineup to be? We'd love to hear from you guys. Take care. Peace out, guys.